<laughs> Hi, welcome to the Frozen Friends Club. I'm Dylan. And I'm Elena. Today, we'll be learning all about the history of the snowman. I have a warm, fuzzy place in my heart for snowmen. Oh yeah? Why is that? Because of Olaf, of course. He makes loving snowmen very easy. Olaf is a great friend. Olaf, you're melting. Some people are worth melting for. And he's very smart. Did you know gorillas burp when they're happy? Did you know we blink four million times a day? Did you know wombats poop squares? And inquisitive. And who's the funky looking donkey over there? That's Sven. Uh-huh, and who's the reindeer? An amazing storyteller. Here's a true love's kiss. You're not worth it. Guess what, I'm the bad guy. What? Super supportive. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I'd hold your hair back, but I can't find my arms. And, and so, so much fun. Elsa, Sven, Samantha. <laughs> I don't even know it's Samantha. <laughs> Olaf is the reason why Elena and I wanted to learn more about the snowman. So we did some research and found out some pretty interesting stuff about them. Some things you may already know, and then there are some things that are gonna blow your mind. <sighs> All right, let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Unfortunately, there aren't any records of the very first snowman, but researchers found an illustration that dates back to the late 1300s. Almost 700 years ago? I'd say that's pretty mind-blowing. Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? Isn't something you would have heard a kid say back in the early days of the snowman. During the Middle Ages, snowmen were made by actual artists and real craftsmen, not children. After big snowfalls, they would bring out supplies and get to work on building various snowmen. And in 1494, a 20 year old sculptor by the name Michelangelo made a snowman for a ruler in Florence, Italy. Whoa, a royal snowman made by one of the greatest artists of all time? I know, right? It sounds pretty familiar. The earliest known photograph of a snowman was taken in 1853 by Welsh photographer Mary Dillwyn. That's so cool! I love seeing old photographs! You know, you can actually check out the original photo at the National Library of Wales, if you're ever in the UK. I'm gonna have to put that on my to-do list. According to the book, History of the Snowman by Bob Eckstein, spending an hour building a snowman is a real workout. It's equivalent to walking about three miles or 7,000 steps. <laughs> Building a snowman is a lot of fun, but you're definitely going to have to put your muscles to the test, not to mention your hands. Chilly. Cold, 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 cold. The snowman became a holiday tradition in Germany first. Then, in the late 1800s, England started to associate the snowman with the holidays. Because of the holiday, a very special snowman was created. Do you know who that is? Oh yeah, I think the name is... Frosty! Frosty the Snowman! You know it! In 1950, the holiday song Frosty the Snowman came out. It had gotten so popular that in 1969, they entitled a Christmas special called Frosty the Snowman. At that point, everyone loved snowmen. They were no longer just for adults. Fast forward to 2003, during a snow festival, residents in Sapporo, Japan, made a record breaking, wait for it, 12,379 snowmen! The snowmen actually outnumbered the amount of people living in the town! Snow way! Way! <laughs> then, in 2008, the world's biggest snowman was actually a snow woman. Her name was Olympia, and she was made in Bethel, Maine. 
Olympia weighed 30 million pounds and was 122 feet tall. She could be seen from four miles away. 13 million pounds. That's almost as much as 900 elephants. Well, when you put it like that, it's double mind blowing. <laughs> one. What about you, Dylan? Oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm done building my snowman. Where's yours? I was actually talking about building a real snowman with real snow, a scarf, a hat. Oh, right, right. I knew that, but since there isn't any snow outside, I'm improvising. Okay, well, shapeshifter Olaf is a great idea in the meantime. <laughs> Watch out for my butt! I had a lot of fun today learning about the history of the snowman. I wish I could have seen the largest snowman, I mean snow woman, ever built. I wish I could have seen Michelangelo snowman. Imagine how that looked. Probably amazing. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning about the history of the snowman. Thank you so much for watching this very special episode of the Frozen Friends Club, where we go into the unknown and always find something fun. Like a 13 million pound snow woman. Exactly. I'm Elena. And I'm Dylan. See you next time. Bye. Bye.